These days, we all have to do recycling. And what can be better than to use a materials handling machine for the task? This model is the Liebherr LH22M, and it's made by NZG. To get to the model, we cut the tape and we lift the lid. And here's another model kept nice and warm by soft paper. The model is well protected, so all we need to do is carefully lift it out. And there's also a bag containing a spare pin. There's no assembly to do because this model is <coughs> complete out of the <coughs> box. The model looks nice underneath with the transfer box and transmission modelled. And the axles have some detailing also. The double tyres have got a nice tread pattern. And almost everything underneath is modelled in metal. The wheels have got nicely detailed hubs. And the steps on both sides are made of metal. Also in metal is the full outrigger assembly and there's a tiny towing hitch which is not usable. And moving to the cab it's also good looking with a highlighted door handle and with a metal grab rail and mirrors. The internal detailing of the cab is also convincing. Behind the cab there are soft hoses on the articulated linkage, and the graphics, both large and small, are very sharp. There's also some nice safety chevrons. At the back of the counterweight the Liebherr name is embossed and the lights are nicely highlighted, and on top there's a representation of a video camera. The side panel has got a highlighted handle and there are also highlighted hinges on top. Looking down the detailing is really good including an etched cover. And there are other highlighted parts which all add to a busy appearance. Soft hoses run to the boom. And there are also soft hydraulics running to the main boom rams. In general the hydraulics detailing on this model is really good. And they are complex as they run up the top of the boom. Hoses run to all of the rams, and the connection pins used are small. The sorting grab is high quality with hoses running to it, and it's a metal part complete with etched holes. The wheels on the undercarriage all turn independently, and there is a steering axle, although the range of movement is perhaps a little less than you might expect. The axle also oscillates with a good range of movement. Let's try driving the machine, and it whizzes along smartly. These machines are designed to be manoeuvrable, so let's set the steering. And the model achieves a moderate turning angle. And if you've got some rough terrain in a display case, the oscillating axle will take care of it. The model has stabilisers at both the front and the rear. And they are stiff to operate, which means the stabilisers will hold any pose that you set. If you want, you can set the stabilisers low enough to support the machine wheels free. And it's quite satisfying to set it down on its tyres. Machines like this are often working on stockpiles or loading trucks. And an elevating cab helps the driver get a good view. So while you're on a high, you might as well get your head in a spin. And rotating the model works well, it's nice and smooth. On we go to the functionality of the boom and stick. And you can get the grab fairly close to the machine. Going the other way you can stretch the boom and stick out to get an extended reach. And the hydraulic rams are stiff enough to be able to hold the pose. Bear in mind that the sorting grab is metal so we should check the stability. And if we try it over the side we see that the machine is perfectly stable. The sorting grab is mounted on a connector and it has a very good range of movement. And you can also fully rotate it. To do that all important grabbing you can squeeze the jaws shut and both sides move independently. If you want to go for a big grab then the jaws open widely. Now we like to transport these machines around so incoming is the low loader. And to prepare the LH22 for transport the first thing we'll do is remove the grab. On the model it's held in place by a single pin and with that removed the grab is easily disconnected. The next thing we need to do is to reduce the headroom. But on the model the stick can't fold in fully. So we need to go a different way and stretch out the boom and stick. Now the headroom isn't a problem so we can place it on the low loader. And once again the giant hand crane proves invaluable. 
Next, to complete the load, we can put on the sorting grab. And with that, we can drive off to the next display case. This type of machine is often used in the recycling industry, but it's also particularly useful if you ever have to handle giant carrots. This is another high quality Liebherr model by NZG. It has a high metal content and some very nice detailing. Most of the functionality is well implemented, and this type of model goes particularly well when posed with others. If you like material handling machines, this one is very good. Yeah. 